if it's sound or if it's video um, or if it's textual content, it will see this. Um, and so the, the question then is, how do we know whether this is a Word document or a PDF document or a WAV file, for instance, or an MP3 file, um, right? Or sound, whether it's sound, image, or video, and whatever. Um, and, and we mentioned this whole notion of uh, file extensions, right? This is how we know. This is one of the ways we know what sort of application to use because it turns out that a computer will, be, will only be able to process this data once you specify the application you're going to use to process the data. So if you want to view a PDF file, for you to view the PDF file, you must use an application software to open the PDF document. The PDF document has or is composed of data that has been encoded in a format that can only be read by an application that is able to open PDF files. Right? Um, so this raises interesting, interesting questions like uh, the, the user is mostly responsible for this. And this happened with Luquesa and, and Ms. Chipalo here, right? Where you, you instead decide to say, you, you, create, you, you have your solutions in a Word document, and then you, you create a Word document which is, let's say, x dot, dot doc, right? And then because Moodle has a restriction, because this particular assessment or the assessments had a restriction, so you're only allowed to upload PDF documents. What you decide to do is you rename the file to x.pdf, right? What happens? Lighton assumes that, um, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to this. Lighton assumes that, oh, because there's a PDF extension, I expect this to be a PDF, so what do I do? I use a PDF application to open this, but lo and behold, I can't open it because it's not a PDF document. Right? But because I anticipated this, I mean, I, I get to realize that in fact, even, even though these people are using a .pdf extension, but the, the data itself is encoded using Microsoft Word. You understand this? So it, it's important to, to make sure that you're doing the right thing, especially when you're sharing um, this data with other people, which is usually the case, right? It's, for the most part, um, once the data is processed, uh, it's shared with, it's shared with a, a number of other individuals out there, right? So you take an image and then you share it with the rest of the class, for instance. Right, um, an interesting thing about these file extensions, though, is that um, you can explicitly tell your operating system what application to use by default when it sees um, any associated file extension. Uh, so you can tell your operating system, say whenever you see a file, any file with a dot .doc, dot .docx, and the user double clicks it, automatically run that file using Microsoft Word. Whenever you see a dot .html or dot .htm file, uh, and the user double clicks a file, Use Chrome or Firefox to open that because this is an HTML document. You understand this? Whenever you see a .wav, .mp3 file, use your default, um, default media player. I don't know what people use in here. Do you understand this? Extensions, extremely important, right? Uh, and we'll see these extensions once we start our discussion of, um, once we start our discussion of uh, the MIPS instruction set. Uh, once we start using Qt Spim, you know, it's a Qt Spim, once you, 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 you click on file, open, it only restricts you to pic.a or .asm files, which is usually the case for these other applications as well. If you've bothered to open um, a file when you've already launched, let's say, Microsoft Word, you notice that you're restricted to specific extensions. When you click file, open, the list of files that come in that pop-up box. Um, oh, right, either just dot, dot .doc or dot .docx. Uh, although you can tell your operating system, say, show all files or something, or all file extensions. You've done this before, yes? Yeah, yeah, so, a, and the reason you, you do show all file extensions if there are characters like Luquesa who decide to say, uh, it's a PDF, but it's a do, Word document, right? So for you to see that, that thing, you need to show all the files and then open that file, yeah? Interesting stuff. Um, again, I mean, this was just meant to exemplify what we just spoke about. If you don't know what sort of, uh, or how the data was encoded and you just guess 
Um, like in this case, not that I guess, but I was trying to open a video file using a text editor, right? Can't see anything, doesn't make sense. I can see something, but this doesn't make any sense, right? 